If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. First one. The table shows a traveling distance in kilometers between various locations. Part A. Draw a weighted network to represent the table. Part B. Find the shortest traveling distance from B to D. So by looking at a table, A and B has the most direct connections. So A has four direct connections with other vertices, so as B. Whereas C, we have only one, two, three, and D has only two. So therefore, we either start with B or start with A. Doesn't really matter. If you start with the one that have most direct connections, it's just easier, that's all. So let's start with B. So B here, so from B to A is 32. I just write 32 here. And B to C is 15. So how about that roughly? Draw not to scale, okay? So 15. And then B to E is 10. And then uh, E also connected with A as well, so I better write in between. Okay, say so 10. So E here. Say so 10. And then B to F is 32. So I just write F roughly here somewhere. 32. This is F. 32. And let's move to um, A. A to B already done. And A to D is 25. And also D connect with C as well. Better write on that side. If you write on different side, doesn't matter, okay? But I just write here so the network looks a bit neater, that's all. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really matter. A to D is 25. So, which is, let's say D here. So, this is 25. And then A to E is 30. So this is 30. And then A to F is 19. So I just draw here. So this is 19, the weighting. And let's move on to um, vertex C. C to B already done. C to D is 38. So I just go C to D. This is 38. And then C to E is 20. So C to E is 20. So just connect it together. This is 20. Now let's move on to point D. Now you can see D with A already done. And then D to C, 38 already done. Similarly with E, E to A we already did. And E to B already done. And E to C as well we just did it. And then similarly with F. F with A we did it and F with B already connected. So part B, find the shortest traveling distance from B to D. So by inspection, the shortest distance is from B to C and then from C to D. That's the shortest by inspections. So therefore, the shortest distance is from B to C to D and which is 15 plus 38. So 15 plus 30 is 40. 5 plus 8 is 13. So therefore, 53. And then the unit is kilometers. Please stop the video. Try this one yourself. Now, by looking at the table, every vertex had three direct connections. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. So let's start from A. So we'll write A here. So A to B is 10. So I just write B here and it's 10. A to C, which is 7. So C here. And then A to D is 5, so just roughly, okay? So D here, 5. So now move on to vertex B, so B to A done. 
and B to C is 6. So we'll just connect this 6 here. And remember, draw not to scale. So B to D is 15. So this is 15. And move on to C. So C to A, which is D. C to B, just done. And then C to D is 4. So this one here. So this is 4. And D to A already done, D to B already done, and D to C done. And that's it. So this is a weighted network. Last one. Please stop the video. Try this one yourself. So first of all, by looking at the table, uh, C has four direct connections and the rest are three. So it's better start with C. Okay, if you start with eight, it's still, you still get the same answer. Still along, make sure you got all the connections. So better to start with C. So it's, it's easier, that's all. So let's say C. So C to A is six. So I just draw to C to A first. So this is 6. And then C to B is 7. So I just do B here is 7. Now C to D is 8. So I just drop it, okay? C to D here. This is D, which is 8. And then C to E is 18. So I just try this down, E is 18, roughly. So this is E, this is 18. Let's move up to vertex A. Doesn't matter which one, okay? So start from A. So A to B is 15. Just connect together, 15. And then A to C, we already did. And then A to E is 11. So just connect these two. So this is 11. And then move on to vertex B. So B with A already done. And B connect to C, we already did, of course. And then B with D is 20. So just connect this together, which is 20. And then move on to vertex D. So D with B, done. So D with C, we already did. And D with E is 10. So we just connect. So this is it. So which is 10. Now, E already done with A, and e, or, e already connect with C, which is 18, and then E connect with D as well. So that's it, that's all done. So this is a weighted network. Now, part B, find the shortest traveling time from B to E. This is the B here, and then we wanna go all the way to E with the least amount of time. Now, to do this, we just work out by inspection. So, first of all, so from B to A, you can go this, this route here, so which is take 15 minutes. But then if you go from this to C, is this, the least amount is seven minutes. And then from here to here is 13. So therefore, the least amount from A to B is 13 minutes. And then from A to E, so at the moment, if you go from here to here, is 25, because 7 plus 18 is 25. And then from A to E, is you add 11, so it's only 24. Or if you travel on the other way, so you find the from B to D, the least amount of time that you travel from B to D is 15, because you go 7 plus 8. Because you want to find the least amount of time to travel. And then from D to E is 15 plus 10 is 25. So therefore, the least amount of time is 24 minutes. So which is from B to C to A and then to E. So that is 7 plus 6 plus 11, which is 24 minutes.
that is the least amount of time or the shortest times from B to E. Thank you so much for watching.